Today we're talking baby clothes organization without a closet because your girl is in a tiny space and this is what we're doing about it. Hey there domestic darlings. So I can't be the only one who only has like one closet in the entire house or at very least very limited closet space. My husband and I live in the cutest one bedroom little tiny small house and we love it but that means that baby is in the master bedroom with us which let's be honest she was going to be anyways and she needed a spot for all of her belongings, baby gear, clothes, things like that. So I spent a while um, searching on Facebook Marketplace for this armoire and half of it, it's actually like a pretty big armoire, but we had one big wall in our master bedroom. So that's what we put it on and half of it will be able to be used for our stuff and the other half is used for her stuff. I gave a little sneak peek there at the beginning of what the finished thing will look like, but I'm gonna go through setting everything up with you today and how I organize stuff and what's in it so that you can see for yourself. But first things first, I had to clean it out. So I did get everything in good cleaning, when we were setting it up, but that was a few months before I actually got around to making this. And so as part of my Thursday cleaning routine, it's dusting. So I decided to just pick this little armoire and give it a good dusting. I pre-washed all of baby's clothes and made sure that I washed them properly so that she wouldn't have any sensitivity to them. And now I'm just gonna hang them all up. And I chose to go with mostly just inexpensive baby onesies because I know she's gonna get everything messy, have blowouts. Um, she's It's gonna be pretty warm weather soon after she's born it's when she's in zero to three months so i just tried to focus on that and then i knew that people would gift us the really cute outfits so i wasn't too worried about making sure we got those for her instead i just want to make sure i got her really comfy cozy basics and that's what i'm focusing on first Next up, I'll be folding burp cloths, swaddles, sleep sacks, receiving blankets, anything else that I'm also going to be storing in this little baby closet as well. I do have a video on how to fold all of these baby items individually, as well as some extra that you don't see me working on in this video, and I've linked to that so that you can watch it. As someone who has dreamt of having a family for so long, I didn't get married until I was 26, um, and I'm having this baby just before I'm 27. <laughs> so it's something that I've dreamt about for so long. I can't believe that I'm sitting here folding up her items, dreaming about her while she's kicking around my tummy there. Um, it's honestly the most surreal feeling ever. Anyone who knows that feeling knows it well of just that dream coming true finally. And I'm just so excited and so happy to be getting all of these things organized for her and setting them out. All right, so I put a tension rod up in the top of this armoire and I made sure to buy little organizers that I can hook on there that will tell me what age group those clothes are for so that I can have them all organized and then I'm just hanging them up on that tension rod. I made sure to add a little bow stand and then I also have little baskets for organizing accessories, socks, I have one for washcloths and then an extra one. Next up, I have this basket for all of her sleep items. In here, I'm putting in the receiving blankets and matching burp cloths. I'm putting in sleep sacks, swaddle sacks, um, sleeping bags, <laughs> uh, muslin swaddles, anything that she's going to be sleeping with, PJs, 
things like that to make sure that they stay organized and at the ready so that at night when we do our little bedtime routine, I can just go to this basket and grab them real quick knowing that I have everything that I need, especially because I'll be burping her at night, she'll be feeding throughout the night. So having those extra burp cloths in there are so helpful. Next up, I'm just getting these baby washcloths all organized, putting them into this little basket. I made sure to have tons of these because I know I'm going to constantly be using them to clean baby up, especially early on when she can't have baths. Another basket that I have in this little closet is for her bath time essentials. So I'm putting her towels in there, her little bath time basket and her medical supplies in here as well. Um, just any little gripe water, like little baby things that she's going to need to help keep her healthy and feeling good. Grooming supplies. I have a whole video on organizing baby bathroom essentials that's going to be coming out as well. So keep an eye out for that because I'll show you exactly what's in here and how I put it all together. This basket is my to be process basket. Anything that I didn't have time to organize got put in there as far as clothes and toys go. And then I also have a basket for food and feeding essentials, bottles, bottle racks, anything like that that I haven't had a chance to sterilize or get all ready yet. I will have a video on me sterilizing bottles and all that in the future. And um, so this is me doing that right here. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, but I just set it all in there until I could go through and organize it. And then once I sterilized everything and put it into bags, then I put those bags in there until it was ready and time for her and then I also have books and things on feeding for her when she's old enough to do solids that I'm putting in there as well and that's it we'll see you next time domestic darlings